Hello and welcome to my presentation. Uh, my name is Dominik Birtic. I work for RTRK Automotive LLC and I made a paper about graphic environment for generating automated tests and documentation for ADAS. So, agenda, the topics that are going to be discussed. So, first is introduction, as I previously said, use technologies, technologies that I used, uh, technologies were Blockly, Node.js and MongoDB for the most part. Then I'm going to uh, talk about uh, my graphic environment for generating automated tests and documentation for others. And I'm going to show you examples with pictures and that's going to be uh, a bit later. And then verification and summary. So introduction. Uh, because of the uh, fast development of IT technologies, uh, robotics, embedded systems and so on and so forth, uh, automotive industry started creating software uh, for safer driving and for <clears throat> much easier driving actually. So with that uh, they started creating ADAS and ADAS stands for Advanced Driving Assisting Systems. And what does that mean? That means that uh, they uh, others are all systems, for example, uh, parking sensors, a uh, camera that shows you your backside of the car, where you're going to park it, uh, sensors that uh, show you, for example, the temperature of certain things, uh, if something is uh, not working properly, and so on, uh, if you fastened your seat belt and things like that. And also, it could be much more uh, complex things like for example, autonomous driving, uh, and since I just mentioned autonomous driving, the point of automotive industry and others is to create autonomous vehicles, meaning vehicles that could drive themselves. And today we are still trying to develop software and test the software to uh, make driving much easier and, and much safer for the drivers and the passengers, but the final goal is to create completely autonomous vehicles so that you don't need drivers, you just hop into the vehicle and uh, you put your destination in the navigation and the car drives itself, literally. And yeah, so because software is developed for all that, you just have to, you have to test that software to see if it's working properly, if it's working properly with, bo uh, with the board that is going to be put into the car and you just can't test all that software manually. You have to make it quicker, make it automated. And this is why you need automated tests, because if you have, for example, three boards that are going to go into the car, then you're going to uh, have a lot of software that needs to be tested and you will have, for example, two weeks to test everything. And you will always find some errors with the software and maybe some issues. You won't be able to test it in that time frame, and this is why you need automated tests. So, uh, technologies that I used for this solution because I I made a solution to to generate automated tests. So, what I use I used Blockly and I'm going to talk about what is Blockly so that there aren't any misconceptions or any doubts about what that is. So Blockly is graphic tool, a graphic environment which uses blocks. And those blocks are, are representing the code. And that code can be in many different languages. For example, JavaScript, uh, PHP, Lua, Dart, Python and so on. And also Blockly has its uh, toolbox, its workspace and also its block factory where you create blocks and you can export those blocks and then later put the code into the blocks. And this is important because I'm going to talk about that a bit later. Uh, then I used Node.js. Node.js is environment for creating a web server 
uh, this was important because Blockly is web technology and I needed a way to connect the database which I used which is MongoDB and I needed to uh, connect the database and Blockly with the web server and web server is actually the glue that connects those two. And for uh, Node.js I used a lot of modules to help me, well actually to help myself uh, for different functionalities on the server, server itself. So for example I used uh, Express.js, EJS, Cheerio, Mongoose and similar modules with the npm uh, node packet manager to download them and to use them for different things. For example, Mongoose I used uh, for interacting with the database for uh, saving, loading, editing and deleting blocks or documents in the MongoDB. And as I mentioned uh, now a lot of times MongoDB is a database and that database is actually document driven database which means that every all the data that is in the database is a document and MongoDB is JavaScript driven well database and its data are JSON objects and if you probably if you don't know uh, JSON means or JSON stands for JavaScript object notation which means that every JSON object has key and value and both are strings and this came perfectly uh, for my uh, scenario and it helped me a lot and of course since I did a web project and web tool I used HTML and CSS, HTML for some things to create for the web pages and CSS to make everything more pretty. I'm going to talk about uh, my solution, the graphic environment. Uh, so I'm going to talk about two things, main idea and then requirements. Uh, requirements I'm going to show in the next few slides and I'm going to talk about them in depth. But for now, I'm going to talk about the main idea behind the solution. So uh, the problem was uh, every automated test that was written was written manually. And it was literally, you have to include some Python libraries that contain fun functions. And then uh, when you wrote those scripts manually, you then put them into another tool which execute them automatically. And the main idea was to uh, help software testers and engineers to generate those automated scripts much more quickly because time is money. There's no, uh, there's no better explanation than, than that. You just need more time to test other things and for things that can be automated you just need to make them much quicker. So the first requirement, as you can see, this is Blockly main page and also the main page of my tool. So here you have a toolbox with categories, uh, then you have some buttons, you have workspace and you have links to other pages. So I'm going to talk about uh, the main functionality of Blockly and then I'm going to uh, start talking about the first requirement. So, as you can see, you he here you have toolbox and these are categories. And for example, when you click on logic, uh, you will have a menu opened round about here and you will have some blocks in here. And you can just drag and drop those blocks into the workspace and then you will have your block into your, in your workspace. And this is actually the main functionality of the Blockly tool. Uh, you just drag and drop your blocks, which represent code, into the workspace. And with that, you're creating a script. And now I can talk about the first functionality or the first requirement. So first requirement was to create these two buttons, save Python and save text. 
save python stands for generating automated tests and save text stands for generating documentation and i also created show python uh, button so that when you put your blocks you can see the script that you created and you can uh, choose if you want to download that script as a python script or as a text file because uh, we didn't really go much into depth about the, the documentation but for now we just created or i created a button that will generate documentation as a python script that you wrote because that is sometimes needed for documentation purposes and that is it for the first requirement also you have uh, links to the home page to the list of added blocks which i'm going to talk about later and block factory which i mentioned before and i'm going to talk about that later also so here you have representation so uh, i put a block here i put some input blocks with some numbers and i pressed save python and my mozilla firefox browser uh, asked me if i want to open or save that file and same goes when you press the button um, for saving text so second requirement was to uh, save blocks into the database and this is a representation of the blocks that are currently saved into the database and i mean i used mongoose uh, to Mon mongoose module with the node.js server so that i can create connection with the mongodb database so that i can uh, save load edit and delete blocks from the database and so on if you press one of the blocks you will uh, be redirected to the page where you can either edit or delete those blocks and that is about it for the second requirement for the third requirement this came out of necessity because every time when you uh, load a blockly page uh, the blockly html file uh, you have written uh, the categories and the names of the blocks that are going to be used if you don't have a block that you have written into the database but you have included javascript file where you have the blocks and you press uh, one of the categories uh, the block will glitch and it will stop working in a efficient way and so this requirement asked me to dynamically uh, write block definitions or actually sorry no uh, block declarations into the html file with their category and name so that every time when you save a block into the database you also have the block saved into the html file and when you go to the home page you press toolbox you press one of the categories and you can use your newly created blocks fourth requirement uh, required to uh, put block factory onto the web server so that engineer or software tester can create his or hers uh, block templates and here as you can see uh, you have uh, the beginning of block template creation and here in the preview you have your block this is when nothing is put into the block this is how the block looks block definition here uh, is code that actually uh, represents the appearance of the block and the generator stub here uh, represents the functional code of the block and in this variable here the variable code we put the functional code that will be later represented in a script and this is very important and i'm going to show you uh, why is it important in the next slide so fifth and sixth requirement are intertwined and what uh, i'm going to show you here now uh, what they are and what was required so here in the block exp exporter page you have some block templates and 
this block type 2 was selected and fifth requirement said that you have to uh, put your Python code, uh, parse the tag and put value underscore instead of this tag so that in your code you have these values. And what does that mean? If you remember the input blocks, I will try to show it here with a drawing. So when you have an input block like this and you want to put a number 10 like this, uh, the value A will be changed with the number that you put. So uh, you won't have in your script uh, value A in your actual script, you will have number 10. And in the example of this code, you will have def x, a is equal 10, and rest of the code. And you did this with the generate button. And sixth requirement uh, actually asked to, so fifth requirement uh, needed me to uh, change the parse this code, take out tag and put value. And sixth requirement says when you press the button, you put this whole code into this var code variable. And you also put the, if you remember, the block definition and generator stop so that everything is one place. And then you press submit and everything is saved into the database. And that is about it. And when you save your newly created block, you get redirected to the list of added blocks page and you have your block here. And this is the block that you created, that you added. And now for the verification. So how I verified that my functionalities work, I manually tested them. And I also had a colleague who has much more experience than I in creating automated tests and in executing them. And he gave me pointers how to uh, direct a software engineer into uh, creating blocks and how everything should be to be uh, as intuitive is, as it can be. And for every functionality, I manually tested it. And if it didn't work as it should, uh, if the functionality didn't satisfy a requirement, I developed it until it satisfied the requirement. And uh, when I, when the functionality worked uh, as it should, and when it satisfied every requirement, then the test results of each functionality was pass or passed. And now I'm going to sum up what I actually said. So I created a graphic environment which allows software te testers to create automated tests using blocks. And everything is done in Python uh, for the scripts, but the whole tool is created with JavaScript actually. And the documentation can also be generated in form of a Python script in a text file. And that is it. And now for the questions, I have uh, two questions from the committee. Can you identify mo most common user experience challenges when designing graphical environments that cope with the continuous integration workflows, including automatic tests and documentation generation? Uh, yes, I can, but I see that you uh, made a mistake uh, when ask, asking this question, I created a tool that generates automated tests. And you really shouldn't mix those two. Uh, automatic and automated are different things. Uh, but yeah, actually, Blockly is a graphic environment tool. And I didn't design graphic environment or I didn't uh, design the graphic environment. I just uh, put the I just use the block because it is a free tool and I can use it as I want and manipulate it in a way that I want it. 
so that is it but I did add it in the for the sixth and fifth requirement I added uh, the some text box and some buttons and in that way with the help of the colleague I uh, made the environment much more intuitive to do things to create scripts and second question is uh, do you plan to address those challenges in the future uh, my answer is yes uh, every time that I have challenged in creating something whether it's a tool a script or something else I always address those challenges and I try to complete them in the future and if that is all I would like to end my presentation right here uh, I see that I went a bit over the limit of 20 minutes but I'm sorry I hope that you learned something today and see you later uh, have a great weekend have a great week and goodbye